I don't really know how to say this, but future you is you right now. And if you don't start making the changes, you're still going to be exactly as you are. So today I wanted to do a video talking about anxiety and how to do things with anxiety coming from someone myself personally who has uh, severely struggled with anxiety and self-doubt and insecurities for like 17 years and only this year 2023 have I managed to start taking steps towards doing things despite my anxiety and actually getting some progress. I really just want to try to help anyone else that's struggling with it because I personally feel like I've made a ton of progress and I'm doing so many things that just last year I wouldn't be able to wrap my mind around the fact that I'm doing these things or that things have been going as well as they have. For me, the last 17 years or so that I've had really bad anxiety and I've been self-isolating in my room, I haven't been doing anything at all to improve myself. I don't know if anyone can relate to that. Maybe you're someone who is actively trying to make yourself better, but for me personally, I wasn't doing anything until maybe 2021, 2022. I kind of started to consider the idea of like, I can't live like this forever. Like this isn't working. It was just kind of like, oh, I don't care. Nothing matters. I'm the anxiety World of Warcraft girl. Like I'm cool with it. I guess it could be through the fact that now I'm like adulting and stuff. For me, I grew up in Canada. I lived in Canada my whole life, super scared to do anything. And then I met my husband on World of Warcraft in 2019 and he lived in the USA. So we were in a long distance relationship and I ended up moving to the USA. But I mentioned the long distance and now I'm living here as of 2021. That's such a big life change and I feel like ever since I did that, it really shook up everything for me and I think that that's been the whole start of my evolution process and I don't think that any of my successes or kind of overcoming my anxiety would have happened unless I did that. I'm not saying that like, oh, you should move somewhere else, but the whole idea is having such a dramatic life change is sometimes what you need. When I moved here in 2021, the first few months were really, really great. They were really, really exciting. And then I started having like almost the worst time mentally with my anxiety, with being super, super homesick. I also wasn't even allowed to work or have a job of any kind for the first like nine months of living here. So I was going through so much and my mental health was really, really bad. And this was the first time in my life that I ever turned to trying to improve myself. And I started reading um, books, like self-help books. I'll put a few of them up on the screen and I think the biggest one that really changed things for me and kind of changed my whole mindset and everything was the Miracle Morning book, um, which was such a simple thing, but at the time it was what I needed. And it was basically, the whole book was about having a morning routine, which I had never ever had before. Miracle Morning book, they have this acronym called SAVERS, which is to have silence, affirmations, visualizations, exercise, reading, and scribing or journaling. And I was religiously doing this SAVERS morning routine like every day for months on end and I got really, really addicted to it. And I'm not necessarily saying that you have to do it for me. It really, really helps. So if you have anxiety, it could be something worth doing. I think having an open mind and an open mindset to trying something like that can completely kind of like I've been going down this one super straight road for a long time that led nowhere like if I was still in Canada playing World of Warcraft and doing nothing with my life that was my life I was going to keep going down that path and I think as someone if you have anxiety if you feel like you can't do anything like years and months and just time is going by and you're not making any progress towards your dreams, maybe you need to do something different. And then through reading that book and adapting those habits, it veered my path in a different way, which then started to open a whole bunch of other doors. After a few months of kind of focusing on listening to podcasts, reading books, and doing a lot of mental work with the journaling and affirmations and everything, I would say after about four to five months of really 
doing that, I started to notice a complete mindset change and everything. It's spanned over a really long time. And yeah, it's probably been two years total-ish that it kind of took for all of these changes to start to catch up to me, for my brain to kind of be rewired in a certain way. And it's not even like I'm over my anxiety. I still definitely have my anxiety. 2023, which has been my first year of kind of actually putting things into action. Like I said, it's a very, very slow process. So if you're someone who has anxiety, the one thing that I would say is I recommend to start as soon as you can to try to just take on like little tiny habit changes, maybe take on one habit, like just journaling. If you don't journal, maybe start journaling. If you don't meditate, maybe just meditate. If you want to do them all, you can. But I would say anything, any positive thing that's going to help you start to even consider changing your mindset to put you onto a slightly veered path, like we're talking like even a 1% improvement can drastically change how everything is happening compared to just doing the exact same thing that you've always done and you'll find over months and maybe over years that they start to compound as you make that little one percent change maybe you'll find in a month or two that now you've made a five percent change and then you kind of take that on for a little bit and then maybe in six months you're like hey i'm ready to take on a bigger change and now i'm at like 10 or 20 percent better it's actually i think right after my birthday which was March 17th and I was turning 27 and I remember I was really scared to turn 27 just the whole idea of like getting closer to 30 and I was like really um kind of upset in like February like the month leading up to it I was like I don't want to be 27 and be so close to 30 and then for some reason on my birthday I just didn't care. I was like, actually, it's so cool to be 27. Like, I'm stoked to be here and the fact that I'm still here and I'm still going. And it was kind of just another like mindset shift kind of thing. I would say my three big dreams are to be a YouTuber, a Twitch streamer, and an Instagrammer, influencer, whatever you want to call it. I figured since the Twitch streaming is probably the hardest one, decided, okay, can't do the Twitch streaming. I tried. I failed. Let's do something else that's a little bit easier. I wanted to start doing Instagram reels, which was really, really scary for me. As an awkward anxiety person, I truly just, I feel like I suck. Like, I feel like literally anyone else but me could do better at like reels and not be as cringy, like as if I am the cringiest person ever. And I just decided I'm just gonna start doing it. I was so scared. I felt so embarrassed posting all of them, but I just had my greater dream in mind. And I think that that's the whole thing. I got to a point, I was so desperate. Like I've had my YouTube and my Instagram since 2012. So it's been over 10 years. I've been really inconsistent with my YouTube and my Instagram, and I've always kind of treated it as a hobby. And I've treated it as a hobby because I'm so scared of it because I have anxiety that I've never dealt with and I don't know about you guys but I feel like it's kind of one of those things where you always just think like oh but future me will be confident right like it's okay that I, I'm not there yet future me will deal with it but I don't really know how to say this but future you is you right now and if you don't start making the changes right now you're still going to be exactly as you are. It sounds kind of crazy, and again, this won't apply to everyone, but if you're someone who wants to be a content creator, if you want to be an Instagram influencer, if you want to start posting reels, doing YouTube videos, Twitch, or any of that stuff, kind of like how I want to, I don't know how to say this, but I feel like doing Instagram reels completely changed my life. Like, it sounds so silly. It's like, what, Instagram reels? But it was the one thing that was easy enough. And through doing them, I gained a lot of confidence. I'm still kind of nervous posting them. I'm not perfect, but I can definitely tell that I've gotten better with time. And you're truly not going to get better at something until you do it. Like, I can't even express how much, like, this is probably the overall point of this video. You have to be okay with sucking at something and being embarrassed and being cringy in order to get better at it. Like, truly, I just fully embraced it. I was like, I don't even care. I would film reels and I would watch them and I'd be like, am I actually gonna post this? Like, did I actually do this? And it's not even like it was anything that embarrassing. It just felt like 
I guess the imposter syndrome thing like as if I can't be doing this and I felt like people would be judging me and being like who does she think she is why is she doing it and truly you just have to turn it off just have to do the thing embrace the fact that the thing you're doing you will suck at it will suck but how are you going to get to the point where you're good at it unless you do it and for me it's mind-blowing because I started doing reels, I started having success with it, I grew from, uh, I was at 11,000 followers in March 2023, and I'm at like 71k now. So just in the span of what, like six or seven months, it's completely just changed my life. Like I actually get like free products now, I'm actually an influencer, which I know a lot of people are like, oh, influencer. But it's crazy because that has always been my dream. I've always, for 10 years, I've been like, I want to be an influencer. I want to get free product and stuff. And I'm literally doing it now. And it might not seem like that big of a deal to some people, but I also know there's people out there who would also die for that. And that was me. I was literally like, I can't believe that there's other girls that get to do this and get to live this life. I want it so bad. And I wanted it so bad. And I was so desperate. And I was so fed up with myself not doing anything. It's like, how many years are going to go by? Like, seriously, it's been like year after year after year where like, I think that like, oh, I'm going to be an Instagram influencer. Oh, I'm going to be a YouTuber. I'm going to be a Twitch streamer. But I wasn't doing anything to do it. And I was just like, no, I'm fed up with it. If you want to do it, you just genuinely have to start doing it because it wasn't just the fact that... I got followers or that I'm an influencer now, but it actually opened the door to me now feeling confident enough to do Twitch streaming and now I stream on Twitch and I'm not even really scared of it anymore. I get like a little nervous before I go live, but it's literally not a big deal to me anymore. I wouldn't say I've like made it or anything as like a Twitch streamer, but like in my head I've made it because I'm doing it and I'm not scared of it. So. That's amazing. I've been kind of, I've been so busy in real life recently, so I haven't been streaming as consistently and I definitely want to get to streaming more consistently, but it's just so nice to know that I can do that anytime and I'm not scared of it anymore. Just building that little tiny bit of confidence, I've also started taking my YouTube channel more seriously. And this is all literally stuff that triggered just from me, like I was saying, just reading that book about the miracle morning. Such a simple little thing that doesn't even really have to do with the book. Like it's not even like you have to read this book, it will change your life. It's just you need to find something that is just that little thing that can get you onto the right path and you literally never know where you could be in two years later from that point. Honestly, for the past year or two, mostly the last year, I've pretty much spent every single waking moment actively working towards my dream life. So that's another really, really big thing. I feel like at a certain point, you have to realize that you really do need to work super, super hard for the life that you want to live. Like how bad do you actually want it? Because I've been saying for a long time that I want to be a YouTuber, Instagrammer, Twitch streamer, but I haven't been showing in my actions that that's what I want to do. And I think it's finally gotten to that point where I'm actively working towards it and actually showing up for myself in those ways. And I would say I still definitely suck at it. I still have a whole lot to do and it's sometimes kind of embarrassing because it's like I've had my YouTube channel and everything since 2012. It's like how can I still suck this bad? But the reason why I still suck so bad is because I've never actually tried from this state of mind. You know, I've always treated it like a hobby and only through all the shifts and the confidence changes and stuff have I started to take it seriously. So it's almost like right now for the past month or two that I've been like trying, it is kind of as if I'm starting from ground zero, even if, even though I have technically had it for 10 years. It's okay to suck. I'm here sucking. I don't even know what I'm doing. Sometimes I don't even know how to format a YouTube video or how to talk, but it's all part of the process and through doing it more, I'm going to get better. I'm going to find out how to actually edit things better, how to not ramble so much. Like it's all stuff that I have to learn. Like I don't know how to do it and I have to just accept the fact that I don't and I'm never going to get better at doing it if I don't do it, you know? The main takeaways from this is obviously shifting your mindset and then also the idea of being okay with 
facing your fears, like having the courage to face your fears despite your anxiety, no matter how much the voice inside your head is telling you, I'm scared of Twitch streaming, but I'm scared of voice chatting. I'm scared of being social and I'm scared of putting myself out there. I'm never going to get better at those things and those things are my dream life. Anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this now. If you guys have any questions or if you want to talk to me more about any of this stuff, um, definitely feel free to leave a comment. Um, join my Discord. That's probably the best place to talk to me. You can also DM me on Instagram, but I can't guarantee that I'll see your DM because of like the message requests and stuff. So commenting below or joining my Discord if you want to get more personal is the best way to talk about this kind of stuff. But ultimately, Ultimately, um, if you have anxiety or you feel awkward or whatever, whatever it is you want to do that you're passionate about, just start chasing it. Just start doing little things to start to get you closer to the point where you can start chasing it and then just go for it. Just literally start doing the thing. I promise you that it will work out. It'll start to have little tiny successes that'll help you to get there and when you uh, get scared or have a fear or if you fail and like you're just embarrassed and you feel like running away and hiding again never ever ever stop because if you think about it only if you stop is that dream ever gonna go away for example if I literally just decided I'm never gonna upload on YouTube again I'm never gonna twitch stream again and I'm never posting on Instagram again that is guaranteed that I will never ever have those things if I stop. But so long as I am here and I do keep trying, even if I do have periods where maybe I'm inconsistent, I'm still here. It's been over 10 years and I'm still here. So there is still that small chance for it to work. So just know to never give up, never stop pursuing the thing that you truly, truly want to pursue. And just make sure that you're actually taking active actions towards it. If your anxiety is in the way of that, you're going to have to take actions towards dealing with that so that you can move that out of the way to start doing the thing. I think that that's everything that I wanted to talk about. I feel like at this point I'm probably just uh, repeating myself and everything and I feel like I already tried to end this video a few minutes ago so I'm actually gonna go now. I hope that you guys have a lovely day. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!